Okay, so okay answer. So I'll be ending your discuss discussion for the result for the day. Uh, before we for uh, officially start, we'd like to start our prayer. Let us put ourselves in the holy presence of God and say, In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, our hope to the wisdom, pray for us. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. So I hope uh, everyone uh, can hear me. Uh, in now, if medyo choppy or dili uh, kumudumog, I check the connection. Okay, so to this morning, uh, I hope uh, already, um, as Sir Go have already announced and to you that I will be uh, co-teaching or discussing the for the result this morning and hopefully for the rest of the SEM. Uh, okay. Uh, for a minute, uh, give me time. I'll look for a headset or earphones para maklaro akong tingog. Okay. Hello. Hello. What do you want, sir? Hello. Ah, okay. So, nine thumbs up. So, what do you want, so hopefully, dili na medyo muffled ang voice no, so we can start. Thank you. So I hope you can cooperate this morning and uh, listen sa discussion. And I'll try my best. Bisan dili na ko uh, uh, master ang result, so or not my. Uh, major, so I hope I can share and discuss to you what I have read and researched about uh, Rizal. So, okay. So, as we know, Rizal is our uh, national hero. So, we he was uh, a national hero for various reasons, but most especially because he helped or he gave the Filipino the uh, uh, he pushed the Filipino for revolution during the Spanish time. So, but the question is, but before that, I'd like to ask you. Uh, 
as someone usually will see Rizal. So in our daily lives, so as someone usually makita si Rizal. You can chat to siguro sa inyo answer or chat. So no, we can see Rizal almost every day sa one peso coin. So aside from that, we can also see monuments of him, not just here in uh, Philippines, but also uh, in the other countries. So just a uh, just a trivia. So mostly results statue or you can see statues of result in different countries. So result uh, so Rizal is a national hero of the Philippines and then he is famous in not just in our country but also in uh, different countries. So kung kailan mo ni Shakespeare, if you're familiar with Shakespeare, so he is equal to Shakespeare or other uh, literatures na mga maayo. Ina na kasi ka si Rizal na nasa yung mga statwa sa lain ng countries. So today we will be discussing uh, his life and works of si Rizal. Maybe some of you guys uh, who are Oaktia scholars have uh, the book already of Rizal. So kato na yung mga book uh, yung ganahan mo yung classmates mo uh, makabasa sa libro especially katong dili o kaya scholars you can ask others to uh, photocopy pages for you no so makakita mo sa makabasa mo sa libro so there's a there are a lot of uh, topics uh, regarding result or our topics will be focused mostly in the book so question Anong kailangan mag-study ta Rizal? Why do we need to study Jose Rizal's life? One major reason is that uh, Rizal, we study Rizal because there's a Republic Act 1425 or Rizal law that states uh, an act of banditing all public and private institutions including state colleges and universities to include the Dr. Sarizal's life, works and writings as a course across programs. So wala y, since 1956, uh, that was approved on June 12, 1956. So take note of the uh, date, uh, June 12, 1956. So when approved siya that year, the following year, uh, na anay mga na I course uh, regarding Rizal. So since 1957 siguro na nagwala ni graduate na wala ni wala ni wala na kaila ni Rizal or wala ni ka sugat sa klase about Rizal. So ang inyong kumuta na mo si mga friends so na sila or yung mga, yung mga papag mama sa una kung nakakalage sila or na may mga kaila ni graduate of college so, it take it learning nga course, Rizal. Mano mo nga nung mag-study man nga, kinsa man na siya, hindi pwede si Apolinar yung mabini or si uh, Juan Luna. No? So, na ay Republic Act, that's why uh, we are uh, studying Rizal. Then, na ay yung libro, no? mag-ibuhat for Rizal. So, this is the book. Uh, yan ako, ipakita ninyo nung, no? naka-share screen nung day. Pakita na ako niya ninyo. Uh, are you still with me? Ma, ma, na dumog rako. Okay, sige. Thank you. Next. Let's proceed. Para mamanta. So, Republic Act 1425 or Rizal was written by Senator Jose Pirolel with a compromised version of the House Bill number 561 which came out on April 19, 1956. So, after uh, June siya na-approve, 
uh, June pro siya na approve ang Rizal Law by April 19 same year uh, there was a house bill and number 5561 the house of representative and senate bill number 48 on April 3 1956 by then committee on education led by congressman Jacobo Gonzalez and senator Claro Recto known as Noli Fili Bill so Noli Fili Bill I will be discussing that later so Noli as you know will be start Stands for no limit here and Philly, uh, Philly votes Terismo. That's one, of, that's two of his books uh, we'll be discussing later. So we'll start from Rizal's birth. You know, so Rizal is as the same as us, no, is a human, but <laughs> so na buhi po siya. So he was born on June 19. 1861, 60s, no? between 11 and 12 at the midnight at Lakeshore in town Calamba, Laguna. So his complete name is very long. So Jose, Jose Rotasio Rizal Mercado Alonso E. Rea Londa. So Degan Sila, seventh child of Don Francisco Mercado and Donia Teodora Alonso. So Sa name pa lang da, no? you can distinguish Rizal is, uh, has a family of uh, na naslay kaya no? because Don, Donia o Don ang iyang father. So Rizal's birth. Uh, his family is nickname is Pepe. Uh, he was christened or the bunyagan siya. The church on June 22, 1861. When he was only three days old, uh, by Reverend Father Rufino Colantes, and his godfather was Reverend Father Pedro Casanas, or Nangungus niya kay Pari. And his baptism was tested by the parish priest of the town, Reverend Father Leoncio Lopez. So that's just a small background about him, sa yung pagabata. So, who are his parents? So, muna ako nakita ng picture sa internet no, but internet man sabi kayo masaligan, but muna ang usually nigawas sa picture siya mother and father. So, her mother, uh, his, his mother is Doña Teodora Morales Alonso Riolonda I. Quintos. So, taas kasi lang pangano. Uh, I'm pa Okay, so then the fathers at us, Agipangan, Don Francisco Ingracio Rizal Mercado E. Alejandra II. So, Pantak is like Pangan at that time. Okay, so let's focus on his father. So, his father, Don Francisco Ingracio Rizal Mercado, or ato nang is your Don Francisco na lang, was born on May 11, 1818 at Binyan, Laguna. So, young guest of Cyril Alejandro and Juan Mercado. Uh, his father is has a blood of Chinese. Okay? Uh, he was one of the fourth generations of a Chinese immigrant in the late 1600s named Domingo Lamco. Uh, Pepe regarded him as model of fathers. So, yung pagtano siyang papa, okay, siya ang kung na model sa mga papa. So, yung papa ang model of others. He was a tenant and also a landowner of the Dominican State in Calamba, Laguna. So, at that time, if you're a landowner, kita po na ikaw, kung ano, dato juga siguro kay at that time, Spanish time. So, gamay lang kayang Pinoy nga magtag-iya o yuta. So, he died on January 5, 1898 at the house of his daughter, Narcisa, shortly after the execution of his son, Jose, or after uh, days or mga months na matay si Jose Rizal, his father also died at the house sa balay lang. So, Doña Teodora, uh, born in Misik, Manila. So, umut ang sila ng pangan sa Misik karun. So, native of Santa Cruz, Manila. She was a martinet devoted 
well-mannered and diligent mother. So studied Spanish at Colegio de Santa Rosa and Pepe considered her a remarkable woman. Uh, she demonstrated on how to keep families together despite the turmoil of the Spanish regime. So, regime. so this would be the panahon na, but his mother, she demonstrated on how to keep her family in sa atong time, Spanish time. So she possessed a business ability, a refined culture, literary, literary giant, and the courage of a frugal woman. So that will be discussed later on sa kasi pasabot ang literary giant. So literary giant that's mean that means yung mama is uh, well versed when it comes to literature, no? In, especially in Spanish. So we'll go to his siblings, yung mga igsuon ni Jose Rizal. So So, sorry. Tonya Saturnina, her sister is born 1850 and then died 1913, also known as Neneng. So, married to Manuel Hidalgo and studied at La, Cor La Concordia College. So, published Pascual Pabets Tagalog translation of Nolomi Tanghere. So, Nolomi Tanghere is written by Jose Rizal, then it was translated in Tagalog by uh, Pascual Poblets and then ang na-publish ana kay ang young sister, ang sister ni Sir Rizal. So she died at the age of 63. Next, uh, one of his famous brothers, or na uh, usually na ilan sa mga tao, is si Pasiano, born in 1851 and then died at 1930. Elder and only brother of Jose Rizal, known as Shano, he studied at Colegio de San Jose. And married to Severina de Sina and had two children. He died at the age of 79 due to tuberculosis. So we are discussing, why are we discussing the family background of Jose Rizal? Uh, because we want you to know that Jose Rizal uh, is also a uh, Filipino or also the same as us. So he's a national hero siya. As a chagi kagi sa mga saon na same as atua. That we can relate to him, uh, that he have also family, that Narjay uh, brothers and sisters. Kasi mo tano bang ano? Kailang ka pumunta mo study and answer or mo discuss na. So next is our Narcisa, her sister, second daughter and third child, known as Sisa, uh, believed to be the only sibling that could narrate the poems of Pepe. So siya gituhan na siya maka narrate or maka storya sa mga poems na gisawat ni Sir Rizal. Uh, married to a teacher and musician, musician named Antonio Lopez. So, Limpia, next is Thais. Are you still with me? Madong ko ba ko, no? Okay, di ba ko kita sa inyo ang mga naong or sa gitang pasap mo? Okay, so madong pa daw Kay kita ko na thumbs up si Benz Martin o si Intia. So, kasi hindi na kung sino discuss din yung ano mga kabantay. Okay, so next uh, is Olympia or Olympia, known as Ipia Merito Sylvester Obaldo. So, I will be sharing these slides niya or Sir Gould will be sharing these slides ninyo. Next, as uh, Jose Sibling is Miss uh, Doña Lucia. Married to Manuel Herbosa of Calamba, Laguna. Next is Maria. Married to Daniel Faustino Cruz of Binyan, Laguna. She, her nickname is Biang. Oh, so, kanina, wala ko, kita, wala ko nakita ng picture. So, next, her sister is Concepcion. She was called as Concha at the, dad, the age of three. So, wala na siya nadugay mo nang wala yung picture. So, katong duha lagi sila ni Jose Rizal ng lalaki. Usually, babay. Next is si Josefa. She was an old maid who died at the age of 80. And her nickname, or he was known as Pangui. Next, uh, Trinidad. So, 
Like her sister, Pangoy she died an old maid at the age of 83. She was the keeper of Rizal's degree, Mi Ultimo Adios. So we'll be discussing later also what, what is Mi Ultimo Adios. Next is si Solidad. She became a teacher and she was known as Choleng. Married to Pantelion Quintero. So these are what I research about Osef's family. So they live a harmonious life because as we know, uh, his mother and his father are Don and Donya. So uh, her per his parents showed love and care and comfort to their children. So they discipline their children and they are a religious family. And they have a love for God. It was their foundation to value and respect one's rights. So you can see here from this slides nga si Jose Rizal, he was uh, brought up in a family with uh, values and uh, concern for other people. That's why you can also uh, say that deserving child to be a national hero. So allowed their children to play in the backyard. They belong to the social group of principalias. And they are capable of sending their college or their children to state colleges. So at that time, it was really hard for Filipinos to get a proper or a uh, good education, especially kung farmer or kanang bisod in mong pamilya, dilim sa daily dato yung family. So, kana. Okay, so next, let's go to childhood experiences of this result. Uh, just a normal child, he, he had a full or full of joy, child, his childhood was full of joy and meaningful memories. He was amiable, thoughtful, and a loving person. And then when he was young, his mother, as I said a while ago, is a, a literary giant. Or in, his mother also studied Spanish. It was his mother who was his first teacher taught him to pray, feed, and write. So mostly, most of us also know our mother was our first teacher sa balay. Especially for if your parents are, uh, what they call this, uh, housewife. So makatotok din yung mother ninyo. So when he was young, he wrote a poem regarding his hometown entitled, Un Recuerdo e a Mi Pueblo. So, harang kita mga Spanish term karon mga katunan. So, next is father built him a small nipaha when he was young. And when he was also served as an aya to attend to him. So, what is aya? So, aya in Spanish is a governess. So, a governess is mura siya yaya sa karon na itong panahon. So, but at that time, governess was mura siya uh anong respetado gid siya sa balay so siya ang nag siya ang mag kanang magbahala sa balay like sa mga kinanglan sa balay sa pagbantay sa mga bata so he and his aya wala naka mention ng name or her governess or his governess shared a lot of stories about folklore folklore myths and legends so na siya tigbantay sa una no Jose also enjoyed uh, doing some drawings about animals and sa kay Dato lagi sila, kay yung papa doon, doon, he had a pony that he used in visiting some seniors in his place. So imagine owning a pony at this time, no? Si Dato, juga ka kung makatagiya kag uh, pony. So ng pony, anak sa kabayo, no? So gamay nga kabayo. So, he used a uh, pony to visit places before. Wala may motor sa kanan sa una. So he used to mold clays and made little animals like. So bata pa lang si Rizal, no, nakitaan na siya o uh, potential in create uh, in arts. So he also liked to have a night walk together with his dog Usman. So, na siya ero, si Usman. 
So next, uh, he considered his trip to Antipolo as one of the happiest moments he had. And then his first trip to Manila was to visit her sister, Saturnina. And then, so I, I discussed a little while ago, so Nasha's sister, na at the age of three years old, that was, uh, that was his first grief, grief when namatay yung sister. And then at the age of eight, Jose wrote a poem uh, about his fellow children entitled, Sa Aking Mga Kababata. So this, one, this is one of his famous writing a poem to his fellow children no at imagine at the age of 8 na suot na siya og tula or poem then also witness the brutal actions of the guardia civil to some innocent people and then this was his turning point this made him and gave him the idea to offer his life and service to his countrymen so at that, at that time nga bata pa si Rizal mga teenager years makita na niya uh, how are we oppressed by the Spanish or the Spaniards? So it led him to offer his time and service to the countrymen, say, mga fellow, fellow Filipinos. So that's it. So that is the childhood experiences of Rizal. And Anna. so do you have any questions? I can, if you want to ask some questions about Rizal, in his family background, in his child experiences. Pwede lagi mong tanak eh, datay dagang tayo. But we have a slide, na pati next slide ah. Sige na may mga questions about Rizal. May sinatumbag na to. Okay, some of the facts or some of, uh, wala na akong ibutang sa slide tanan. Kaya kung akong ibutang sa slide tanan, umapatamuman no? Because there's a lot of things you can discuss and talk about Result. So, what are the questions? Thumbs up lang if wala yung questions. Hindi na ba na mag-view ka nahan? Napa mo? Or di, madungo pa ko ninyo? Sino hindi na ko ninyo madungo ka? Okay, so na ko na kita na thumbs up. Si... Nil, ang uban kay wala yung thumbs up lang sa okay. So I hope nakasabot ragamay. So as I said a while ago, result is just like us. He also uh, had a family and he was also living a normal life like us. So si Rizal, o takay ba ang pata niya, kabadlong po siya siya mga parents, no? Then later on in his life, uh, he's realized uh, he saw the how the Spaniards treat us. Then dun sa pag brutal nga patyo ng mga Pinoy or mga Filipino at the time that led him to uh, offer his life and service to the countrymen. So if wala may questions, we can we proceed on oh, any chat. Ah, kwan day. Eh, thumbs up or day, sir, he no. Sige, if na mo yung mga questions, kay just chat lang ha, or in ako ninyo, kay basin paspat sa ikusunan, or in sabah. So I hope naka-gets ra sa about ni Rizal. So just a review again. So we study Rizal. Uh, dili lang kamo anong study about ni Rizal, but all colleges, state universities, because it is a Republic Act. So mura lang siya equivalent sa Republic Act, other republic acts like uh, bawal ka pumatay, bawal ka nang bawal makapatay or kanang usaman ng mga republic act dra no nga dapat nato buhaton. So mapriso hang eskwelahan or university or colleges nga dili maghatag or mag-offer of result. So at I guess last mga few years few years ago, 3 years, 2 years ago, it was contested or na bill ipasa nga ditangtangon na daw ang result sa university or sa itatangon siya as subject sa university or colleges then i-offer siya sa high school or sa senior high school but uh, as of now, wala pag-i-offer siya ng tangtangon no? kay as you can see 
pag senior high school na yun, wala mo yung result. But now, you're in uh, tertiary or college na na mo yung result. Okay? So, let's jump to results uh, education before we go to his works. Okay, mamo? Kaya pa? Sige. So, na may na mga kamuha. Pareha bitan ni Tanan, nagkatuon tanin nyo na eh kay uh, I also research and study about Rizal because it was given to me this time uh, mo discuss or mo uh, co-teacher with Sir Go. So I hope I can um, nakasabot ka mo sa akong discussion. Okay ra, kung katawaan ko nyo gamay kay no, maglisod pag hindi pag hindi ko master sa gamay. So next is we go to Rizal's education. So Rizal had a good educational background or even better than other Filipinos at that time because as I said uh, his father and mother are done yeah are done then they can afford to send their, their student other child or their or their Rizal and siblings to a good school and uh, makaskwila or college so first we go to his early education in Kalamba so at the age of three, Rizal already learned the alphabet from his mother. Then at the age of five, while well, he was learning to read and write, you no, know, he Rizal already showed inclinations to be an artist. So he astounded his family and relatives by his pencil drawings and catch, sketches and by his moldings of clay. So say so say Rizal, we can say that his mind is or his IQ is high. So, okay, imagine at the age of five, they can already draw and sketch uh, drawings. No, what I can say, I'm a drawing, bro. My nagro siga, um, medyo amateur na siya by the that time. So, wala nagtudlo niya. So, it was in on his own. Then he also uh, molds clays, kanang mga clay. And then at the age of eight, he wrote a Tagalog poem. So, kapang yun na yun yun, ganina. Edad pa niya, Utsua. Diba? Karun at this age, ang kanang eight years old, magduha pag ML, sumudaw, matanaw pa ng YouTube, matanaw pag kukumilon. So, unsa pa na'y buttons at the age of eight, at the age of eight, so lingaw-lingaw pag ito, or grade one ba na, or kinder. Di pa kayo sweet to, but at the age of eight, Rizal wrote a poem Entitled sa aking mga that is kababata. Let me just change it. And in that case, uh, kuwanta kayo mga viewer, mga kuwanta. So, the theme of the poem revolves on the love of one's language. So, kung sama na itong language, so it is Tagalog. No? Or Filipino, sorry. So, the poem goes like this. So here, sa aking mga kabata. Ah, so, kapag ang bayay sa diyang umiibig sa kanyang salitang kaloob ng langit, sang lang kalayaan na sa ring masapit, katulad ng ibong na sa himpapawid. No? So taong kayo, imagine na lang kayo mga words of that age, Eight, pagkat ang salitay isang kahalutan sa bayan, sa nayot mga kaharian, at ang isang tawin katulad, kabagay ng alin mang lika noong kalayaan. Ang hindi mamahal sa kanyang salita, mahigit sa hayop at malansang isda, kaya ang marapat pagyamaning kusa na tulad sa inang tunay na nagpala. Ang wikang Tagalog tulad din sa Latin sa Ingles, Kastila at Salitang Anghel. Sapagkat ang poong maalam tumingin ang siyang naggawad, nagbigay sa atin. Ang salita nati huwad din sa iba na may alfabeto at sariling letra. Nakaya na walay, nakaya na walay dinatna ng sigwa ang lunday sa lawa noong dakong una. So, 
in this form, Rizal wanted to uh, tell his fellow uh, kababata, no, mga kanang ariyan ng edad, that we should love our uh, own language. So, atong language is the same as the language of other country. Nga na po siya letra, nga na po siya alfabeto. So we should love our country, our language first before we learn to love other languages. So our language will help us or magamit siya nato in expressing ourselves. So language or literature was also the weapon of Jose Rizal when he uh, revolted against the Spanish regime. So wala ni gamit si Rizal o pusil o physical or dahas did not use a uh, gun or any violence. So he used his mind and his uh, literature and his writings to anang in Tagalog kawin ang loob ng mga Pilipino. So to burn the fire within the Filipinos to revolt against the Spaniards. So his education in Kalamban, uh, also results parents employed private tutors to give him lessons at home. The first was Maestro Celestino and the second Maestro Lucas Padua. So that would be the mga papa kay ano gito nagi tutor gino, private tutor gito si Rizal. So wala gito siya gis gi ang ang si Rizal. So all uh, his parents did was to give him a proper and good education. So later on, an old man named Leon Monroy, a former classmate of Rizal's father, also became his tutor. This teacher lived at the Rizal home and instructed Rizal in Spanish and Latin. Unfortunately, he did not live long. He died five months later. Then after Monroy's death, Rizal's parents decided to send their gifted son to a private school in Binyan, Laguna. First day in Binyan school. So, Pasiano uh, enrolled Rizal to the school of Maestro Justiano Aquino Cruz. So, Rizal also met Abuli to Dili de sayon sayon ko lang life ni Rizal sa unang nabuli po di siya. So ayan, ang bully ni Rizal kasi Pedro. No? Ano si Pedro di ang bully. So Rizal was angry at this bully for making fun of him during his conversation with the teacher. Challenged Pedro to a fight. <laughs> Rizal having learned the art of wrestling from his athletic Tio Manuel defeated a bigger boy. So imagine Rizal was short and stout before. Kana si Rizal, normal na siya nga Pilipino height, mga 5'6", 5'7", na siguro no. So ina na kaisog si Rizal kay bisan dako pa daw niyang si Pedro yang gi-challenge nito a fight because he know about wrestling from his tiyo Manuel. So just like the normal Filipino or normal person like us, some of us, no na iba na to na bully po si Rizal na na po di siya no the national hero siya na po siya kaagi nga bati day dog dog po siya sa una so next uh, after classes classmate his classmate whose name is Andres Salandanan challenge him into an arm wrestling match so Rizal having the weaker arm lost and nearly cracked his head on the sidewalk yaw Next, uh, studies, uh, uh, in studies, Rizal beat all Binyan boys or mga Binyan Laguna boys. He surpassed them all in Spanish, Latin, and other subjects. That is how Rizal is so gifted. So, sa una, magsilos ang mga kasmit niya, no? They were jealous of Jose Rizal because of his intellectual superiority, brightness, and then they wickedly squealed to the teacher whenever Rizal would fight outside the school. 
and even told lies to discredit to, to discredit him before the teacher's eyes. Then, because of that, so mapanish si Rizal. So, tungod sa kasuya sa ubang tao ni Rizal, niya na si Chay, si Rizal sa bugui-bugui sa siguro ni kay ganun naman siya yung mga fight outside school, isumbong siya ba? So, ang katong mga diganan niya, huwag mas lang mabuhat, di mas nakapil din ni Rizal sa utokay. So, isumbong lang sila, mapalaban lang sa teacher. Na, example ma'am, si Kuan ma'am, si Rizal, si Pepe, nagsumbagay na po dito. No, or mamakak ang mga classmate niya. Na, si Rizal ma'am, naigibuhat ina ni para lang mapanis si Rizal. So, we received many whippings and strokes from the from the feral teacher. Uh, panagsarang adlaw nga wala siya na stretch sa bench o wala ka suway o bunal. So, he was whipped and punished with five or six blows on the open palm. So, before, uh, pwede yung mga bunalan ng mga janti sa eskulahan, but karoon na naman tayo low nga uh, uh, protection sa mga bata ng dili pwede bunala, dili pwede pasakitan sa school but at the time the result to punish them they will open their arm their palm so kayang ilang kamot ya bunala na og stick no imagine stick nya bunalan og kusog sanan si mukamot kay kinastanan so ina na nagi pud si result og pagka bugoy-bugoy og nabunalan sa dai so Next, he also attended school in Ateneo Municipal de Manila. I guess this is Ateneo de Manila now. Then uh, he had a Bachelor of Arts degree in 1877 at the age of 16. No, imagine na siya degree at the age of 16. Then he graduated as one of the nine students declared subresiliente. Uh, I guess that will equal to kuan uh, valitorian siguro or uh, silutorian magna or cum laude at this time. Uh, continued his education to obtain a degree in land surveying and assessor. So next, uh, Ateneo Municipal de Manila, during his time there, Rizal was a member of the Academy of Spanish Literature and the Academy of Natural Sciences. So, appeal na siya. Appeal na siya mga academy or mga organization. So, he wrote his first poem, Mi Primera Inspiracion, which was dedicated to his mother on the birthday of his mother. He also wrote, Through Education, Our Motherland Receives Light and the Intimate Alliance Between Religion and Good education which showed the importance of religion in education so this is the example of mi primera inspiration so dili lang basahon kayo kita taas i will just we will be giving you this slide also so basta this poem mi primera inspiration dedicated to his mother so Next, uh, he also studied in UST or University of Santo Tomas. Kadugay ang UST. I guess you're also in, you're familiar with University of Santo, Santo Tomas. Uh, Rizal studied there or he is alumni of UST. He studied philosophy and literature letters during his first year, but he shifted to medicine, specializing in ophthalmology when he found out that his mother was going to be blind. No? So, in school as a first year as a philosophy student, but when he learned that his mother was going blind, he wanted to study or shifted to medicine so that maybe one day when he graduated, he can uh, cure or help his mother. Uh, during his time in University of Santo Tomas, he was unhappy at this Dominican institution of higher learning for three reasons. First, can make the Dominican professors were hostile to him. Next, the Filipino students were racially discriminated against by the Spaniards. Then third, the method of instruction was solid and repressive. So in short, 
to be a student in UST at, at that time, and then Filipino Pachuka, uh, you will be ridiculed and you will be discriminated by the teachers, Dominican professors. Dili sila mga Filipino, no? Kay from other countries sa Dominican sila. So they will be kung estudyante ka dito, murag daog-daogon ka or uh, murag tagaan ka and just treatment. So dili fair mo treatment sa other students. So after he finished fourth year of his medical course, he studied in Spain. So ni Largas ya. Yeah. And then he could no longer endure the rampant bigotry. Uh, he studied in Spain because he could no longer endure and ramp the rampant bigotry, discrimination, and the hostility of, in the University of Santo Tomas. Okay, so are you still with me? Na, na ko pa? Kaya na ka follow pa mo? Okay, so sila na mga book dagan pa mo? Okay, dun ti to pa ta. So, just a recap. So, for uh, pa tayo, so kato education early education ni Rosarizal his mother was the first to teach him then nabud siya mga tutors then after several tutors he was sent to a private school in Binyan so na siya yung mga kaagi sa una si Rizal na isan maayo but he was the best student in the school no then he didn't, he didn't study in Manila to take up a bachelor's Bachelor of Arts degree. He graduated with a as one of the Subresiliente. Then, as he was studying in Ateneo, he also wrote a poem on titled "Mi Primera Inspiration," dedicated to his mother. Then he studied in University of Santo Tomas. But he wasn't happy. Uh, so after finishing fourth year of his medical course in UST, he decided to study in Spain. And that will be our next slide. So education in Europe. So you can imagine at that time, this uh, pa ang pagbiyay-biyay, no? Wala pa kayo dagang aeroplano. So it is a privilege for a Filipino or for any person to be traveling abroad. So, makabihin na ikagawas sa una, murag uh, dako na kayo ng kanang privilege. So, when he go, went to Europe, he traveled alone. Uh, he was in Madrid in May 1882. There, he studied uh, or continued his studies in medicine at Universidad Central de Madrid. And then he got his degree of licentiate, licentiate, sana pagbasa, mag Spanish mo na, degree of licentiate or license in medicine in 1884, and degree of philosophy and letters in 1885. So, while he was studying med medicine, he also studied uh, philosophy and let letters, literature. So, nahuman po niya dito sa Madrid. Um, when he was in Spain or in Europe, it was an avenue for realizing dreams or his dreams. He finished studies, his studies in Madrid and then this to him was the realization of the bigger part of his ambition. So, was, what was he uh, what was his ambition again? It was to serve uh, and offer his life for his countrymen. So his vision broadened to the point of awakening in him an understanding of human nature and then sparking in him the re realization that his people needed him. So para ni Rizal, at that time, he was needed or he needed to help his fellow men or the Filipinos. So, it must have been this sentiment that prompted him to pursue during the reorganizational meeting of the Circulo Hispano-Filipino to be one of his activities, the publication of a book to which all the members would contribute papers 
on the various aspects and conditions of Philippine life. So at this time, uh, during the reorganizational meeting of Circolo Hispano Filipino, uh, one of the activities or yang yang ikuan the first uh, ma publish the slag libro a uh, publication of a book where it contains uh, the life the experiences or the aspects and conditions of Philippines life on Senetabo sa Pilipinas ba so ilang ipagawas dito sa libro so dito ma kabasa mga tao nga sa inetabo sa Pilipinas yun sa sila pagtrato sa mga Spaniards so the proposal for the book was anonymously approved so so na approve ang libro na wala ay dua dua na kabutanan but afterwards na yung mga difficulty and objections and the number of gentlemen stood up and refused to discuss the matter any further in 1884. So, wala na siya ni Siriza, wala na ni Pugos. So, although the book was never written, the following year, Pedro Paterno published his Ninay. It was a novel subtitled Costumbres Filipinas or Philippines Customs, thus partly fulfilling the original purpose of Rizal's Plan. So, bisan wala pa siya na, bisan wala ito na itabo ilang plano nga libro na ibuhaton itong mag-portrait, uh, mag-balita uh, or mag-